Israel's government says a drone was launched Saturday towards the Prime Minister's house in Caesarea. Neither Benjamin Netanyahu or his wife were home and there were no casualties, said his spokesperson in a statement. The strikes into Israel come as its war with Lebanon's Hezbollah, a Hamas ally backed by Iran, has intensified in recent weeks. The Israeli military released a video on Friday, it claimed to show troops operating in southern Lebanon. The army said in a statement that the forces located weapons, including sniper rifles, combat equipment and loaded launchers. Earlier this month Israel opened a new front in its war with Hezbollah, stepping up bombardment in Lebanon and launching a ground campaign against the Iran-backed militia after a year of trading cross-border fire. Officials said Wednesday that Israeli airstrikes pounded areas across Lebanon, killing at least 27 people in 24 hours, including over a dozen in a southern town where Israeli bombardments in previous conflicts are seared into local memory. Israeli forces in Gaza killed Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar, a chief architect of last year's attack on Israel that sparked the war, the military said Thursday. Troops appeared to have run across him unknowingly in a battle, only to discover afterwards that a body in the rubble was Israel's most wanted man. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said Friday that Ukraine would lose the war with its current strategy, a day after Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met with EU leaders in Brussels on Thursday to discuss his victory plan to end the devastating conflict with Russia. We are not involved in this, it is not our victory plan, Orban said on Friday in comments for Hungary's state broadcaster. However, we wish the Ukrainians to be right but we believe that they can't win with this victory plan, they can only lose with it," he added. Zelensky has partially revealed his five-point plan aimed at prompting Russia to end the war through negotiations. Major points of the plan include an invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russia, steps that have been met with reluctance by Kiev's allies so far. He told EU leaders that, we can end this war no later than next year, if his plan is followed. Orban, who is facing increasing isolation within the EU for his position on the war in Ukraine, called Zelensky's plan, more than frightening, in a Facebook post after Thursday's EU summit in Brussels.
While the Hungarian Prime Minister has the warmest relations of any EU leader with Russian President Vladimir Putin, the European Union is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. Két csoportból áll az Európai Unió az ukrán háborúval összefüggésben. Vannak a többiek, meg mi. Így tudom leírni a helyzetet. A... Majd egyszer megírják a történészek, hogy ez hogy alakult ki, de ugye Magyarország a kezdetek kezdetén bejelentette, hogy mi nem akarunk részt venni a háborús erőfeszítésekben. Ma az Európai Unió összes többi országa benne van a háborúban. A másik 26 ország döbbenten kellett, hogy meghallgassa Zelenszki elnököt arról, hogy most akkor neki van egy győzelmi terve. De hát eddig milyen volt? Azt hittük eddig is egy győzelmi terv szerint haladnak. De kiderült, hogy nem. Az, ami eddig tervként létezett, arról kiderült, hogy az a vereség terve. Most erről át akarnak váltani a győzelem tervére. Mi azt mondtuk, én is ezt mondtam tegnap, hogy mi ebben nem veszünk részt. Mi ez, ez, ez nem a mi győzelmi tervünk, és szerintünk Kívánjuk az ukránoknak, hogy legyen igazuk, de ezzel a győzelmi tervvel nem lehet nyerni, ezzel megint csak veszíteni lehet. A nemzeti konzultációról és az új magyar gazdaságpolitikáról is kérdeztem az elmúlt fél órában Orbán Viktor miniszterelnök.